Sorry, because it's been a tough morning out there as far as the snowfall goes. Oh, man, it really has, Chris. It's been coming down at the rate of two to almost four inches per hour. And we got right into the northwestern flank of that system, uh, which came up over us. So we got it right in the Boston to Providence corridor with all that snow. So the winter storm warning is up until 10 o'clock this morning and likely will be discontinued after that. Here's some new snow reports. Canton, 13 and a half inches. Waltham, 13. Natick, 12. Lexington, 12. And so on and so forth. It is really coming down. But down in Plymouth, Massachusetts, it's 4.7 inches. And Denise on our weather watchers down there says the rain is really, we're getting slammed with rain now. They had 4.7. So you can see how the amount Mounts drop off as you head southeastward toward the Cape, but build up dramatically as you move farther north into some of the South Shore communities just south of Boston, 11, 12, 13 inches already. And in Northern Rhode Island has 14, almost 15 inches in some spots. And there we go, right in Boston, 10 to 14 in this zone here. Then you get outside of that, the 10 inch line, then you move up to 6 inch line approximately in this zone here, and then it drops off from there on out. So it isn't going to last that much longer. Look, we're right on the back edge of this precipitation shield. It's not snowing at all from the Connecticut River Valley westward. And so it won't be long before this heavy snow is going to be moving out in the Boston and, and southern suburbs uh, of Boston down towards southeastern Massachusetts. And there's the rain line which comes up over Plymouth. And it's, uh, it's sort of collapsing back uh, um, down in Kingston, Rhode Island. They had only three inches of snow there. It went to rain. Now it's flipped back to snow briefly on the back side. So it may actually flip back to some snow down in here where it's raining just briefly, though. There isn't going to be much more additional snow on top of it in places where it's raining right now. Now, and virtually no, no additional snow on the Cape. So there it goes out to sea very quickly. By 8 to 8.30, it's gone. The whole uh, leaf of precipitation, the whole lobe of it is gone, but we may have some leftover scattered snow showers breaking out here for a while this morning till midday. And then the afternoon, the drier starts coming in. We go into the low 40s with sunshine. So a big transformation from the mess that's out there now to much better conditions for this afternoon. When the sun is out, it's going to almost feel like spring, but it's certainly going to look like winter with all that snow, which is uh, decorating the trees and causing the trees to be weighted down quite a bit by that heavy, uh, high-density type snow. These will be your high temperatures today. And what we're focusing on is the cold air up in here, because following this nice, warm afternoon that we will have, it is really going to be cold to even frigid on Wednesday and Thursday. There's the storm there, but here's the Arctic cold front here. That front will go through maybe a snow flurry late Tuesday. Now, wind hasn't been too powerful, but it's gusty and strong on the Cape. Maybe a few gusts there up to 25 to as high as 40 miles an hour for a while this morning on the northwestern flank of that developing ocean storm that moves out to sea. So looking ahead, we got 30 degrees for uh, tomorrow. So much colder, but sunny. The rest of the week is quiet, and, but it's going to be frigid. A couple of snow showers may go by Tuesday evening, then only in the low middle 20s for highs on Wednesday and Thursday, Brianna.